look, fellas, I'm not saying that I don't care about the league, you know, because I do. What I'm saying is that I don't think you guys are good enough to compete on three fronts and that the league has to just, you know, move to the side. Well, then go and prove me wrong, mate. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to your ruin on the impossible dream. It is season 6 episode 14. Today we could make a European final which would be huge. We've got uh, the second leg. We'll be hosting Anderlecht only. Uh, so we're 1-0 up after the, uh, the game in Belgium. So that's potentially huge. Uh, and we start in the league. We are against uh, Dynamo. I think we're away from home. If I remember correctly, uh, we are away from home actually. So we, we have to win. There's going to be three games left at the end of this game, and uh, we're four points behind already. If they win seven points, three games, obviously that's not happening. If we can win, then you never know. You never know. Maybe there's still a chance, uh, but we have to win. Even a draw, you'd say four points in three games, is uh, extremely, extremely unlikely. So let's get to this. Let's see what we're doing against Dynamo. Now, we are expecting a 4-3-3 out of them. Now, a reminder that they have changed their manager mid-season, so that affects things a little bit. This is a team that we're sending out, and uh, again, we are very much trying to... Uh, let's not play a goalkeeper with a heavy match. I don't know if it makes a difference, but just to be safe. Uh, so we'll go with Sakanji in goal. It is St. Yago and Triantis at the back. Dekic, he's got an injury. He's due back to training tomorrow. He's got a heavy match load as well. We're just kind of needing to do it because we want Pembele for Europe, don't we? Uh, where is Pembele? Um, is he available? No, he's just coming back from injury himself. So yeah, you have to do it, mate. You just have to. Uh, Rovers will go down the left. Uh, it'll be Brigic, Ormarkic, and uh, Verakic, or however you say that, in midfield. Sarange, the uh, the great hope. He is, um, he's, at, he's sort of the number 10 shadow striker with Matanovic and Turpic playing in front of him. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this done. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Um, it roughly looks something like their best side. Petkovic has been scoring against us since day one, it feels like. We've got nothing to lose to show what we're capable of. I can get on board with that. Um, now, if we were to take anything today, we, we, of course, need a top two finish to qualify for Champions League early round qualifying. So, uh, yeah, you know, we can probably just about secure that if uh, results go away. Oziak is the main threat, but they're a fair ways, uh, fair ways off. Uh, of course, a big thank you to all the Patreon and channel members as they uh, scroll across the bottom there. Um, as ever, just a quick mention, if you uh, enjoy the content and you're able to, there's all links in the description or there's the, the membership button, the join button there as well, of course. Um, yeah, it's just a, a you know nice way if you, if you want to help support me in that way, then that is uh, obviously greatly appreciated. But uh, let's try and get ourselves back as league champions here. And uh, yeah, so this is just a little bit of a free hit for us. If we if we happen to get a result against Dynamo, fantastic. If not, a European final. And the thing is, when you're in a final, you it's you know, you never know what could happen. I think if we play Newcastle, we're going to be really up against it. Um, Leon is probably our better chance, but we've got to get there first. There's Siraj back in there. Oh, it just nicked away, wasn't it, from the youngster there? Um, I think what we see here, as well as Rovis nicks it back. Now, can we go and get them on the break? It's a, not a good ball for Turpic. It wasn't a bad ball, actually. I wonder if Turpic sort of zigged when he should have zagged as uh, Dakic does his best. Now, this is becoming a very, very long highlight as, uh, well, Rovis has maybe caught out of position there a touch. And I uh, don't like where this is going because it's the back of our net. So we are 1-0 down. And it was uh, it was scrappy. We can, <laughs> you can definitely tell we're having a go at them. Uh, and maybe maybe the smarter play would have been to uh, just sort of sit back a little bit more. But Sakanji, could he have done a little bit better there? The answer's almost certainly yes. Um, but uh, but anyway, we'll encourage them and uh, and see what we get here. I think the sort of general consensus in the comments from you guys was that, yeah, we have to focus on, on Europe and, uh, you know, if we get anything, it's a bonus. And of course we can have a proper crack at them in the cup as Robbers drives into the penalty area. Can he get a ball across? He can! Oh, Turpic has absolutely crushed the woodwork. And that is so unlucky. Another highlight. St. Iago gets it forward. All Markic back to Triantis. He gets it wide for Dekic. Back to Triantis. 
You've got to say, we appear to have responded well to going behind. But of course, we've got to keep our heads at the back as well, don't we? The last thing we need is to go a second goal down. St. Iago, nice ball to find Allmark each wide for Dekic. Is Matanovic going to make a run for us? No, Siraj though, infield. Siraj has done well. Finds Roberts in a bit of space. We've got, again, players in the area. Roberts across in front of the goal. Let's come back out. And Allmarkic has got his third of the season. And it is 1-1. And you've got to say, that was coming. We absolutely dominated the five or so minutes since they scored. And uh, Roberts did really, really well. Got on the outside. Whipped it across. Goalkeeper probably should have been. I wonder if it hit the post or the goalkeeper. And uh, looks like the uh, goalkeeper got his body in the way. You've just got to put that behind at that point, don't you? But either way, it came out beautifully for Ormarkic, and uh, he drew us level. So, game back on. Title back on, potentially. And uh, let's see what, uh, what this highlight brings us. It's uh, definitely been an open game, hasn't it? Auburn, of course, is their uh, 45 grand a week guy. Oh, St. Yago's been sold up the river, and we just about get away with that. So uh, we're doing okay in terms of possession, but it is a very, very open game. And uh, there's a big part of me that wonders if we need to just uh, just maybe slow it down and, and try and uh, not close the game down necessarily, but maybe just be a little bit more... I don't know. Less hectic. Come on. Triantas does well. Get back in position, mate. He does. He does really well there. But I uh, just can't quite get uh, possession back here, can we? There's the cross in. It is up. It is... Oh, Saranj is... Or oh, Sakanji, I should say, is looking a little bit of a liability back there, isn't he? Uh, there was maybe a slight confusion in the back between who was going to head the ball clear, but... Sakanji, it looked to me, that is a ball the goalkeeper can come and get, isn't it? And he just kind of stood on his line and sat down. So that is disappointing. Let's encourage them again. Can we get ourselves back level again? Come on, boys. Come on. Uh, do we need to make any changes? The reason that Sakanji's playing here is that he is not available to play in Europe. Uh, so that was that was one of the easy easy decisions to make. Anybody that's not eligible for Europe, obviously, um, can play here. Because I think he is... Well, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to make of Skoko. I do think that um, Skoko is still probably our better player in that position. Have we been unlucky so far? Uh... We're the underdogs. We can salvage a draw from this. I don't want to salvage a draw, but let's go with that. I mean, a draw, I guess, wouldn't be a terrible result for us, would it? But ideally, we, we, we do kind of need to go all out for a win. A draw doesn't really, I don't think, with three games to go after this one, help us. But it has been fairly even. You know, both teams have had two shots on target. Uh, roughly the same amount of possession, roughly the same amount of shots at goal. They've sort of edged both of those. Oh, that was a good block by Rovis. And here comes Turpic, as I think uh, one of the cats is uh, wanting to leave the, uh, the room. So I might need to... Ellie, I think that sounds like you. I'll be with you in a minute, miss. We've got a game of football to try and salvage here. All right, so... The problem, of course, is that I don't really want to bring anybody off the bench because I want them to be fresh. It's all Markic. Oh, could he have gone with a nice foot thrown at that? Lovrich can come on. So let's bring him on as in uh, Siraj's position and see what happens there. Um, Dekic is having a bit of a nightmare, though he's done well there to find Turpic. Turpic! Oh, it must have been blocked. Uh, does that improve Dekic? Uh... The problem, of course, is that Deki just injured, isn't it? I wonder if we do take him off. His match rating's just shot through the roof, though, all of a sudden. So maybe we do leave it. Uh, Triantis is a game of uh, booking away from suspension. That's fine. We can afford to lose him to suspension if needed. And, um... Yeah, Turpic is not having a great day up there. Let's try a... I wonder if we're berating something to try and fire them up a little bit. All that sun has put pressure on people. Um, 
All right, we've got a we've got a highlight at two one. We've I think if we lose two one or three one or four one, it doesn't really matter, does it? Turpich is not having a good day, so we'll take him off for Visentin. I mean, how much uh, damage is it going to do to his uh, match load at this point, anyway? And um, I'm struggling to concentrate with that cat meowing. <laughs> There we go, Matanovic. Matanovic is into the area. Matanovic is back in front of goal. And it was all Markic, I think, that has pushed it across the face. All right, let's let's uh, let's have a think about this. Let's... Um, we seem to be doing okay in wide areas, don't we? So let's maybe do that. There does seem to be a little bit of space out there for us. Maybe we should have been doing that a little bit sooner. We've got a corner to defend here. That is up. It is away. And is there a chance of anything more happening here? Lovrich probably didn't have a chance to win that back there, did he? And we've got a man over. St. Iago, though, does absolutely brilliantly. And you do wonder if playing Sakanji. Ellie, I can hear you, miss. I'm going to let you out in a second. We need to score a goal here first. Matanovic just over. I don't know if, the, if you can hear the meowing, but she is... Uh, Singing the song of her people, that's for sure. Uh, it looks as though, and that is indeed that. So, title race over. I do wonder if we had a Yasser in goal, if that might have looked a little bit different. But, um, yeah, beaten but not disgraced, I think, there. So, yeah, I think that just about puts a full stop on the league campaign. Now, Oziak have won, which means they are now, uh, what's that, five points back with uh, three to play, so nine points to play for. It should be fine, but uh, that still is a little close for comfort, isn't it? I mean, ultimately, we just need to win one of our last three games, and that'll be uh, that'll be job done, I would say. Um, but there we go. That is that. Rovis played well. I mean, yeah, I don't think we were terrible. I think just two moments, really, of uh, maybe not our greatest defensive moments, and that's cost us there. But uh, anyway, that is that. Let's worry about uh, Europe now. Can we make a final? It's only season six. To be in a final would be huge, wouldn't it? We host Anderlecht next. All right, welcome back. It is now time for you to vote on your viewers' player of the year. So thank you for all the nominations. Uh, what we've done is we've taken the four with the highest average match rating. And in alphabetical order, they are first up Elias Fillet. 19 goals for him so far. Seven assists, average match rating of 7.38. Next up, it is Igor Matanovic. 11 goals, five assists, an average match rating of 7.2. Uh, then we've got uh, Mihal Rovis. Five goals, eight assists, average match rating of 7.35. And then it is Mr. Inconsistency, either brilliant or not. It is uh, Noah Skoko, 16 goals. I didn't realize he scored that many. Three assists and an average match rating of 7.21. So the way this works as ever is there'll be a link down top of the description just below the video. If you click on that, it'll take you through to a straw poll. So vote for who you think has been our best or your favorite uh, player this season. And then we'll announce when at the end of the season awards. Hopefully, it's not next episode. Hopefully, it's the episode we're going to have a European final to look forward to. Let's go see if we can get there. And this is how things stand. We have a one-goal lead coming home to face Anderlecht. Newcastle are 2-1 down against Lyon. We would definitely rather face Lyon, I think, than Newcastle. But uh, we'll, you know, we'll face who we face when we get there, won't we? We are expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them. And this is the team that is hopefully going to get us there. Ayesa in goal. Damjanic and Williams at the back. Pembele and Brocalo in wide areas. Sithole, Pumlumbo and Kakovenga in midfield. Skoko, Fillet and Visenten. They will be the middle three. And uh, yeah, like I say, let's just hope that we can uh, we can get to this final. All right. Well, it seems like a year ago that I recorded <laughs> uh, the first leg. So uh, Dolberg, was, he was quiet for them in the first leg. Let's hope he's quiet in the second leg as well. Don't recognize too much else there, though, I don't think, in terms of names. Um, so we cannot allow complacency. Um, this, is, uh, this is a brand new game. We start again. And yeah, you've just got to not lose at home. And you're going to a European final, guys. And here it is. Time to make, as I say, hopefully a European final. Now, I have requested, or I did request to have a new stadium. Uh, the board have rejected that request. Probably rightly so at this point. Are we a big enough team to, to, to you know, the expense of a new stadium? Um, probably not. I just, at some point, we need to have our own stadium. This obviously is not ours, although it is a home game for us. And I think that's maybe part of the problem is the fact that we can go to these stadiums for Europe when we, uh, you know, when we near enough sell out. So, um, 
Yeah, it is what it is. What it is. We'll get a new stadium at some point to call our own, but we're, as I say, probably not quite where we need to be yet uh, on that front anyway. So uh, we've got a lead, so we won't encourage because I don't just annoy people for some reason. Uh, I've got to say I was very close to playing Akbasli and not Skoko and moving Vizenton into the, uh, the Shadow Striker role. But I thought we'll give uh, we'll give Skoko a chance. And I haven't subbed him off and we're for 15 minutes into the game. So he's obviously doing something I've hit in courage. Uh, we're obviously doing something not wrong, which is uh, in his current form, as good as anything. Not wrong is as good as right. And uh, let's see where this highlight takes us. We've been sucked out of position there and we have got away with one. Definitely got away with one. So despite only having 24% of the possession, and elect have, uh, have got the best chance so far. And they are not letting me forget that uh, encouraged shout, are they? We've got an aggressive Kakavanga, which is par for the course, to be honest. That's what he's usually like. And we've got another highlight. Ayasa to Damjanic. Gets it wide for Bracalo. Bracalo gets down the outside of his man. Can he keep going now? Oh, it's a decent effort, but Visenton couldn't quite take it with him. And we come back the other way. And again, it's forward, but Williams sweeps in. Picks it up. Him and Dan Yanic trip over each other. Do ring a ring a Rosie, and then eventually... <laughs> Sort, sort each other out. Palumbo, oh, that is a bad touch. He's played himself into trouble, and we are in some serious trouble now, and it's 1-1. The lead is gone. And let's be honest, we did that to ourselves, didn't we, Palumbo? He didn't have that much pressure. That touch there, he's gone into three players, and we just couldn't recover. Damjanic had three guys to mark. I mean, what can he do? And Ayasa, I mean, he had... Uh, he had so many people in front of him, he was never going to be able to see that. Now we can encourage them. And, um, well, that is just such an own goal, isn't it? Physic figuratively, of course, but we've just gifted them. Gifted them the way back into the tie. And this isn't working for us, so let's try, let's try doing that. And there's a part of me that wonders if we try and just lower the tempo down a little bit as well. Because we've had a lot of possession, but we've not done anything with it. I don't even remember us having a shot on goal in terms of a highlight. Uh, so it's time for everybody to dig in. We'll definitely need to do that. And I wonder... Now, they were a route one side. So I do actually wonder if maybe, maybe playing at a higher tempo is just sort of doing what they want us to do. So let's try just being a little bit more patient with things. And sometimes in Europe, this is the better way to go as well. And just see if that works for us. Let's encourage. Uh, Kakavenga's match rating isn't great. And this looks like it might even be an attacking highlight for us. Pembele gets a cross into the box. It's decent. It's down. It's Kakavenga and it's saved, is it? Or is it what's happened there? Visenton has got a yellow card. Was it his handball? Is that what happened there? I, I don't... I didn't. I actually didn't see the commentary to see what it said had happened there. But Bracalo is caught in possession. Ball forward. Williams is there. We can't win the header though. And this is big trouble. And we are 2-1 down. And we are falling in a heap. On our big night. So Akbasli can come on. Uh, Kakavenga can come off as well. We'll get on... Uh, we don't really have anybody to bring on for him, do we? Um, okay. So we'll go with that one change. Uh, we'll switch those guys around. We're missing somebody. Who should be... I hope I haven't left somebody out of the squad that should be there. But I feel like we should have Kakavenga. There should be somebody else who plays that position. Let's try to demand more. One goal will level it up, of course. And... Uh... I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know what is going on here, but it's not our night, is it? So Robbers will come on for Skoko. And 
what do we do now what do we do now um i mean a route one side you don't really want to be giving them the opportunity to get in behind you but maybe that's what we need to do and get get stuck in maybe try and we just try and win the ball as high up the pitch as we can um we're still dominating possession which has been the case all season we'll try an encouragement and we've got a corner to defend now ball in it is kind of away but not really and another goal now and that is that it's it's just not gone our way at all it was pinballs in there and it's just fallen for an Enderlecht player and with uh, 10 men we are 3-1 down we're getting absolutely smacked at home and uh yeah i mean there's not too much i mean asa wouldn't have even seen that coming back in would he let's try a berating um yeah i wonder if the pre-game team talk should have been no pressure um but outside of that i don't it just it just feels like we never showed up doesn't it um i mean we still had more of the ball but it's just uh yeah it's just not quite uh ever gone to plan here eight minutes to go plus stoppages if we could get one could they start to get nervous here we go with all markage for fillet that needed to go in didn't it Hembele's having a nightmare but we're out of uh, we're out of subs for him yeah Rovis to all markage ball in there for filler for all markage and again over the top no pressure I mean there is no pressure at this point we've lost <laughs> uh five minutes of stoppage time it's filler it's off the crossbar oh if something could go for us you just never know but it's just nothing is going for us Pembele with a corner no it's not it Palumbo and Reese Williams gets us back to within a goal it's 3-2 is there a chance Palumbo with the ball to the back post Reese Williams is there towering header and well, we'll go with the no pressure shout again although we are running out of time here guys if you want to try and uh get something going Palumbo to all markage all markage a little bit of space through the middle he's got Pembele 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 crosses it in it's flicked away Rovis will pick it up though Rovis back in it's Akbarsu and we've done it oh no don't rule that out it's the last kick of the game you can't rule that out surely not surely not Go on! It's 3-3 with 10 men. Oh, we are still alive. We are still alive. It's a good ball in from Rovers and Akbarsley. I mean, what is he even checking for there? Well onside. They're just drawing out the drama, aren't they? I mean, what was wrong with that? Was He was never even close to being offside. And he was, he was going back as well. That's outrageous to put me through that stress. And it is extra time. And again, we only have 10 men. So we still have a long, long way to go here. There's no pressure on you now. Let's just keep playing with that freedom. And uh, now I think we will have another sub that we can make, but I think we've got to save that now because, uh, you know, we could get an injury. We could get somebody that just has absolutely no energy left. Palumbo is looking quite tired. And ball into the back post. We flick it away still got defending to do here edge of the area it is ah uh, you can't do that to us guys let's encourage them and uh you wonder that's just that's just being a man short back there isn't it although maybe if we had an extra man they would have been standing up there anyway but then maybe they would have had to have somebody back with them wouldn't they maybe two guys surely not you don't come back like that two goals in stoppage time and then lose do you surely surely not so we've got more defending to do come on all markage does well palumbo does well but again we're just a man short aren't we we're just a man short and i think extra time is going to be 
just that little bit too much for us. We'll bring Dekic on for Palumbo, who's tied. And, um, yeah, I just think James is upset by it all as well. I just think it's uh, the tied legs have got to us. And we're back to where we started, two goals down. I mean, we've done really, really well with 10 men. It's just... I mean, Bracalo's an idiot, basically, is what it comes down to, isn't it? I mean, what are you doing? So that's going to be half time in extra time. We'll get back out there. We've pretty much shot all our bullets in terms of subs. We've got more defending to do here. And, uh, well, any more than two goals is going to be harsh. Palumbo's destroyed, but he's just got to keep going. And... Yeah, I mean, in a way, we just... Uh, it's not much you can do about that, is there? I mean, AS is playing a 6-1. And it's just... Um, just not meant to be, is it? Which is really, really disappointing. Let's try berating it. I mean, it's hard to berate the guys that are on the field. They've done brilliantly to come back. And, uh... Yeah. Would have been nice. I mean, there would have been extra money in it for us as well. Obviously, extra coefficient points. Uh, can we play a bit of last goal wins, I wonder? That'd be nice. And, uh... It doesn't look like that's going to happen for us either, does it? Schoolyard rules. Last goal wins. Come on. Oh, it's, we're just getting picked apart now. I wonder if it's the maybe the high line in extra time wasn't the way to go, but it felt like we had them, you know, we had them on the back foot. There didn't really seem a, a point in changing what we were doing because it was working. But I just think that perhaps um, extra time was just a little bit too much for us, really, as Dekic is, uh, is he going to get booked for that? Doesn't really matter at this point, does it? I'm not even sure if Dekic will be around next season. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're just destroyed. So, such a shame. We'll never know what would have happened if Bracalo didn't get sent off. In truth, we're already 2-1 down at that point. But certainly the uh, extra time would have gone a little bit better. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. Oh, and it's Leon that goes to the final as well. So Anderlecht v. Leon will be the Europa Conference League final. And uh, we will be watching, unfortunately, from the sidelines. So defeat in the Europa Conference League final. Uh, there's the, uh, yeah, they overturned defeat at home. Uh, I mean, to do that at home as well is just so disappointing. Bracalo, mate, I, 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 I mean, I wanted Demotium, I, but it's 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 going to be counterproductive, that one, isn't it? So we're not going to appeal it. We'll just give him his fine. And it was just uh, a moment of stupidity. So, guys, that is that. That's not how we wanted things to end, is it? Make sure you go and vote for your viewers' player of the year. I think what we'll do, we've got Ozdiak and Hajuk next. Unless there is, uh, it's going to come down to the final day of the season, uh, in which case we'll come back for the first leg and then that, that game of the season. I think what we'll do is we'll come back for the second leg of the final. We'll be at home. And um, hopefully it'll be all to play for. I can show you the highlights of the of the first leg as well. So, ah, uh, that is just... We haven't conceded six goals all season. And we've conceded six goals in a game. That is just... Something's gone wrong there, hasn't it? So disappointing. Take care.